it is worth mentioning that I am not teaching from a chakra based model. I'm teaching from an East Asian or Chinese medicine model and there's in which the heart is considered the center and where the heart is not just another rung on the ladder upward. This is a different model of starting in the center that as the heart expands, first it expands to encompass both the throat and the solar plexus become part of the heart. Then it, it gets even bigger and encompasses the third eye and the second chakra. And then it fully encompasses even more and is fully encompassing the crown and the root. And it's not really just up and down. It's more like the expansion of a sphere the sphere of influence of the heart encompasses and in its encompassment transforms things into their own true nature. Their nature in heart rather than in loss of heart. You'll see this all throughout Chinese medicine where for instance, we're not trying to get rid of fear we're trying to bring it within the sphere of the heart and it becomes wisdom, a kind of deep, deep listening. Something's happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. And the more we bring heart into it, the less it's a kind of useless and wasting paranoia and the more it's a sense of, I can't put my finger on it precisely yet, but I know it's right over there and I know how to navigate. We're not trying to get rid of anger as it becomes heart infused and heart embraced. It becomes powerful activism. We're not trying to get rid of grief. When suffused, infused, embraced by heart, it becomes righteousness, etc. cetera. So that such that every single organ system and every single aspect of the body is not to be transcended as you become somehow detached and better and not here anymore. It's to be lived into with heart. And then it becomes what it really is. There are many traits. There are many qualities that are not particularly attractive when in loss of heart and all kinds of organs that frankly are a pain in the ass for self and other when off on their own tack running amok. You know, the lungs like the curtains, the curtains are terrible and the kidneys like I must have power and the liver's like, I'm gonna punch him in the face. Like they're, like, they're just, they're just everything inside of us is a complete pain in the ass. Unless it is subsumed in the heart, subsumed, embraced, and transformed into its actual proper nature. A lung is not really a lung. It's a rogue lung. It's a degenerated lung. It's a, it's, a, it's a royal fanatic, picky, picky, picky lung, unless it is embraced, subsumed and transformed by the heart into something, something that it always really was and was meant to be. Your kidneys, your colon, your body hair. <laughs> everything only actually has the chance to be what it really is with heart. The other chakras don't have that mojo. 
man, I'm thinking about this time when I was in the middle of it, I was in a healing group. I was one of the students and we were all allowing to come up something that needed to be washed in the heart. And what I brought up was my, my preemptive strike nuclear warheads in my soul. I was like all my Manhattan, I grew up in Manhattan and all my Manhattan, it was like, we're going way beyond just safety on the subway platform. We're like, and brought it to the heart and let the love into it. And it was like, talk about the washing machine effect. I was like, I was shaking and sweating and, and finally it, it, it changed into this deep, blessing i felt now like someone who could handle the presence of violence without running and with a lot of love and the teacher walked by at that moment and said yeah now you're a real warrior and then a, and a part of me that i had been so incredibly ashamed of and thought that's bad that's a bad part of me now i'm like i'm a badass and a good one, heart-centered badass, so glad. That's the heart. That's not all the other chakras, it's the heart. That part of me was in loss of heart and massively compensating with, with weaponry. Then it took heart and became what it really is and really always was.